My name's Simon Burville, and I'm the Managing Director of Gaze Burville Limited, which is a furniture company which specialises in outdoor furniture. Our, our designs are, on the whole, distinguished by comfort. Um, with outdoor furniture, a lot of furniture's been designed over the years to suit manufacturing methods rather than uh, to suit the shape of the human body. I started the company with Christian Gaze almost 20 years ago, in 1993, um, and there were just two of us. Uh, then we hired a, an apprentice and then a machinist and we gradually grew, grew the business, moved to our current premises uh, 14 years ago, um, where we reached about 10 people. We're now 20 people and we're bursting at the seams and we're currently moving premises again in about a year's time. And this is actually a design, I must credit my partner, Christian Gaze, he's the Gaze of Gaze Burville. Very early design for us, we did it in 1994, and you can see it's got a, a solid wood curved back. Now that, that is fairly unique um, to outdoor furniture, and, and the way we achieve it is via steam bending the oak. So this is um, using English sweet chestnut. I mean, uh, the environment is very important to us, so all, all of our timbers, we know exactly where we're sourcing them from, and they're, they're correctly managed. Um, this piece is, is about innovation as well as comfort and design. Uh, practicality. You have here uh, a bench which actually you can then rotate it and it becomes a table uh, and we have uh, smaller items that go in this collection. The idea is that people with small gardens can have a versatile piece which they can use both in both settings. I think the, that it, it's very important for, for our business to protect our intellectual property. Um, we spend a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money on new designs and it's what distinguishes us from all our competitors. In our sort of overall um, view of intellectual property, the first thing is, is the brand Gaze Burville, and, and everything is branded. Um, and you know, we, we do a certain amount of advertising and, and every, anything we can to strengthen our, the brand uh, and its appearance. Um, then within all our collections, we, we register designs and we register them across Europe, it's also other countries that are members of the Madrid Agreement um, we've done. So that's our sort of second level. Uh, we have sub-brands as well, some of them we've registered Bowline for our stainless steel collection. We make a very strong indication of the fact that we're members of ACID on everything and, and we do see that as a strong deterrent. I mean we have been, as I mentioned before, copied uh, occasionally. Actually most times it's been small companies rather than large which um, has meant that actually, you know, a firm um, responds to them and they've, it's normally stopped. Um, but actually what we're more concerned about and why we take the IP so, so seriously is if a larger company does it. Ideas matter to me because to develop designs and new ideas takes a lot of making mistakes. And those mistakes never get paid for unless you can protect them with intellectual property.